and magical systems dominate the world that we live in. There is, in point of fact, a magical matrix at work. With respect to your second question, those were the 38 of the, the most intense minutes. I have no idea uh, what any of us were looking at at that particular millisecond when the picture... Afghan President Hamid Karzai said this morning 31 U.S. Special Forces and seven Afghan soldiers were killed in one of the deadliest single attacks for American troops in nearly 10 years of war in Afghanistan. The death toll among U.S. troops in Afghanistan during the month of August has now risen to 38. The death toll from suicide attacks on a bank in the eastern Afghan city of Jalalabad has climbed to 38. Pakistani intelligence officials say a U.S. drone missile strike on Thursday killed at least 38 suspected militants. It happened in a Pakistani tribal region known as... Iran's official IRNA news agency says two suicide bombings have killed at least 38 people. The report... Hosni Mubarak refuses to step down and end his 30-year rule. Egyptian security officials say at least 38 people have died and 2,000 have been injured in this week's violence. A pair of suicide bombers strike at the heart of Moscow's subway system, one of the busiest in the world. At least 38 people were killed in what appear to be coordinated attacks at two separate subway stations. A series of violent attacks have sent shockwaves ripping across Nigeria, and several deadly bombings were followed by new religious clashes in the country's central region on Sunday. And the Christmas disturbances have left at least 38 people dead. David Jones has the top story. Heavy rains continue to pound China's Guangxi province, and the death toll is rising from landslides triggered by the downpour. As of today, at least 38 people are dead and 14 others are missing. At least 38 children have died in a fire at a daycare center in northern Mexico, and dozens more have been... And the powers that be in this world have set up a world of symbols and emblems and terms and catchphrases. And it, once you understand how this system works, it's fascinating because for the first time, the world opens up to you a whole new perspective on how government works. It is very well planned, organized, and directed. There is a hidden agenda, so to speak. Occult is simply a word meaning hidden, and so much of our powers in this world and the way things work are, are hidden. And uh, the more one looks at this subject of how the world actually works, you begin to see that there's a magical system, and I'm telling you, there really is a magical system dominating the world. Magical system of finance, government, education, and all of it is right in front of you. But if you don't understand what the words are and what the words mean, you're never going to figure out how uh, this stuff works. about 38 levels above top secret. The highest is cosmic. That's, okay, uh, I'll tell you right now, that's UFOs, aliens, and particleization. Now, like you heard a while ago, there's only probably about 25 people in the world that know things that are known at that level. No president, has had that level, has ever been cleared for that level. Hey everybody, just a quick video. For those of people out there that are true Bible prophecy watchers, who recognize who Pope Francis is, who recognize who Barack Hussein Obama is, that they are the beasts of Revelation chapter 13. This will make sense to all the other people that are out there, Christians 
uh, even Christians that are out there that believe that there is no rapture. There are people out there that are Christians, so-called professing Christians, who believe there is no rapture. Okay. You're all, you all know who you are. Mockers and scoffers. It goes on and on and on, right? We are today the 16th, well, today in most of the world, it's still the 16th of November. Today, for me, here, it's the morning of the 17th of November. It's the 1335th day. The covenant made with many weak, as written in the book of Daniel, is officially over. I believe that firmly. Nothing has changed. Obama's numbers are, are within the covenant made with many weak. It's six years, six months, six days, plus 216 days. End of story. 2,595 days. Seven years, one month, eight days. All right. If you don't believe that, that's your choice. That's my prerogative to believe that. And this is my YouTube channel. And I'm free to say, just like anyone else with that YouTube channel, what you want. Take it or leave it. We are still watching for the signs of the Bible regarding last days to be all fulfilled. For every scripture regarding end times to be fulfilled. And I am believing for it. I'm believing that it's going to happen. I believe the word at face value, the word of God as written in the King James Bible. I believe that it's going to all be fulfilled. Signs. Just as the blood red moons were shown, and I've broken those down as best I could, and there are some amazing truths within the blood red moons that are connected directly to Obama, so too are the signs of the heavens written in the heavens, the supermoons, the supermoons that we're in within 2016. Let me first read by in Genesis, right at the beginning of the Bible, of course, Genesis chapter 1, verse 14. And God said, Let there be signs in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. Days and years for seasons. Let them be for signs. Likewise said again in a different way, Luke chapter 21, verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations. Oh, are we seeing distress of nations? Even Obama's trip yesterday or Tuesday to Greece and they're full on rioting with police on the streets of Greece, throwing Molotov cocktails, full on rioting at Obama's, uh, on Obama's arrival. People aren't happy in Greece on the streets with Obama being there. So, let me start again. 25, verse 25, chapter 21, Luke. And there shall be signs in the sun and the moon, and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. So, having said all that, the fullness of the signs must come in, right? The signs that God's put in the heaven, the blood red moons, super moons, 1949 to 2015 blood red moons, these last three super moons and all that they represent, in 2016, October, November, December, as shown on the NASA video, on my Facebook page, and on CBR homepage. Do your homework there, people, from the time period between the last three blood red moons, eight weeks, four days, within 61 days, counting on from the last super moon, 14th of December, to inauguration days, 38 days. It's the equation, the foundation equation, 38 days after. Obama's birthday every year annually is 9-11. Obama born 4th of the 8th, 8th of the 4th, depending on which country you're in. 38 days later, 9-11. Same here. Signs in the heavens, 8 weeks, 4 days of supermoons, and all that they represent, as written in, as shown in the NASA video. 38 days later, after the last supermoon, 14th of December, Inauguration Day. But the signs in the heavens must be fulfilled according to Scripture. Wouldn't it make sense that this, the moon will shine at its brightest, not seen again, the November um, supermoon, till 2034, 13 days, 18 years, 13, 18, I mean, gosh, come on, till the 25th of November, 2034. God is certainly putting his signs 
And if you follow the number system with the signs of the heavens, you will come up with some logical conclusions of how this is all taking place and what this, the structure of these events. There's a definite structure. It all comes down to the number of Obama's name, the beast. Wisdom and understanding, Revelation 13, 18. Count the number of the beast. Thanks for listening.